welcome along to another edition of Adventures with Otis. Good morning, Otis. How are you this morning? Are you ready for your great walk? This morning we're at the Clyther Estate and we're going to follow a red dotted line. <laughs> yep, we're going to be going that way in a moment. So here's the red dotted line we're going to follow. We're here at the moment and we're going to follow the River Usk right the way down towards Thornbury Farm. Follow it around through uh, Bettis Newith, past the church, head up to Coydy Bunnerth Hill Fort, and then follow the camp barn right away through and across Upper Barn until we get to the castle. Then we'll then head down to the main road, pass by Clyther House, if we can find the Capital Eden remains, then follow the path right way along out for Rose Cottage where we'll cross over again, follow the river right way back to the car park. And the round trip is just under six miles, but we've got all day. Morning, we're going to make the most of Clyther Estate. We're going to explore the estate following the banks of the River Esk through the beautiful 18th century landscaped area, discovering fine architecture. Clyther House is probably the most classic Greek style house in Wales. Clyther Castle is one of the only countries outstanding 18th century follies. So there we go. Okay, Otis, are you ready? Let's go. Well, apparently on this trip we should go through 13 to 16 um, kissing gates, provided we are on the right path. Well, it's been years since I've been in this area. I think the last time I was here was in 1982 with the Scouts. Well, the River Rask is looking really appetising. And back in 82, I would have, um, wouldn't have thought twice about jumping in and having a swim. But things are a little bit different today. Absolutely looking beautiful. Wonderful. Okay, Otis. We're going to head back to join the path, OK? Come on, boy. So the story started back in 1981 when we visited Ireland. Photo Island actually met up with the scouts over there. And we thought we'd return favour and host a camp over here. So and this is where we set up. Um, yeah, it was a, a fortnight with weather just like this, actually. And I might even have some photos. I'll have a little look. These little bridges weren't here back then. We had to traipse through the mud or make our own little bridge. The cook tent and the latrine tent, we the side of the brook. The brook. We had a homemade bridge as scouts. We pioneered a bridge across the little brook, which brought us into this field. And this is our sleeping quarters on the left with the Irish scouts. I think they had six or seven patrol tents. On the right here were the Welsh 15th Newport scouts. And the scout tents would have sort of ended around right here. And then we had the Venture Scouts, which were the, uh, the older guys. And alongside them, my dad, Skipper Dave, would have camped. And he was very proud of his uh, aerial runway. I might have a photograph. So hopefully I found a photograph. And he had an aerial runway crossing this span of the river. It was absolutely amazing. We were spoiled that we were, really were. And lashing up logs with uh, with rope 
and some pioneering skills chucked in. Oh, the things that we used to make. Another bridge across the brook, the Usk Valley Walk. Oh, I think we need to follow the river for about two miles. We've walked about a mile already. Um, so a couple of miles more and then we'll, uh, hang on a minute, just throw this lead under. You wait there, Rotis. And we'll be looking out for a cottage or a farm called um, Tump House. And uh, that's when we know we need to start heading uphill through Kemi's Commander towards Betis uh, Neweth. So we're going to look out for the Black Bear Pub, so it's going to have a drink of water. Unfortunately it won't be open for beer, but um, apparently they've got a good water tap outside. And a dog bowl. This is where we say cheerio to the River Esk. Absolutely beautiful. And we head back inland. Is this way, Otis? Well, I've lost count of how many gates you're going through, but we're on the right path, which matters. And if you are walking your dog, please follow the signs and keep it on the lead. Because there's cattle everywhere. And some of these gates are really tight to get through. Hang on, Otis. You need to lose a few ounces. Lovely sound of babbling brook. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. Up the steps, Otis. This way. Four kilometres. That's about two and a half miles, I guess. Okay, up the road we go. Uh, this way, Otis. Oh, it looks like there's a World War II pillbox here. Oh, okay. Come on, Otis. Can't be far to bet to do it now. Well, there's Tump House. This way, Otis.
Oh, that's a welcoming sign. We're here, better snoweth. Okay, just to find the church now, then notice. Oh, what's this? Oh, no, this is the Bettis Newith Village Hall. And here's the Bear Inn, Black Bear Inn, rather. We just need to find the um, the William Richard Stretton um, well house now. And once we find that, we need to cross over the road over to the church. And I think this is it. Yes, look at that. This is the well house. With a lovely little cover in here. Looks a bit like a bus stop, doesn't it? I think it probably is. Okay, Otis, how are you doing? Come on. Let's go and find the church. And here we are at the Church of St. Aidan. I think that's how it's pronounced. A-E-D-D-A-N. And even though it was built in the 15th century, it's still standing the mark of time. And it's still currently the Bets Newith uh, Parish Church. Originally, um, there was a, a smaller chapel here built in the 12th century, and this one replaced it. And if you'd like to read the posters, I'll just zoom in and you can have a little read. I'm not going to read them out, though. Yeah, we're a little bit short on time, so I, I would stop and read them all out otherwise. And that's the OS map that we're, uh, we've got in our pocket as well. And there we go. The Parish Church of Bettis Newith. Okay, Otis, let's go and find the Iron Age Fort. Put Cody Bunneth, which is probably about, um, about two miles from here, I guess. No, maybe about a mile and a half walk. And quite a few stiles and gates ahead of us. Oh and here we are, Coedy Bunneth. It's the largest and possibly the best preserved hill fort in Monmouthshire. So secluded at the top of this hill is probably the largest and possibly the best preserved Iron Age fort in Monmouthshire, with evidence of human activity is stretching way back over 2,000 years. Still clear to see today are the fourth defensive banks and ditches which help protect the inhabitants from attack from other tribes, animals such as wolves and bears, and stone piles on the banks and the remains of the walls of the defences. Today, bird song is the main song to hear, but in the Iron Age days you may have heard the chopping of wood and chatter of families. And 2,000 years ago, the subtle smells would have been dominated by the aroma of the fires cooking the roast meats like wild boar. And thanks to the National Trust, this is still here for us all to look at. Okay, Otis, you're so patient. Come, let's go and have a look. I think all the bluebells have gone over. Just looking very green here with ferns and cow parsley, along with the old buttercup or two. Okay, Otis, come on, boy.
Oh wow, look at these ditches. You see where they've been cut out of this? Absolutely beautiful. Thousands and thousands of years ago, back in the Iron Age. Well, our next port of call is the castle, which is uh, a folly set up on the top of quite a hill. You just got to work out now to get away from the. Uh, oh, you can see the uh, even more of this hill fort. And we've got to walk on this way, I think, Otis, and head for the gate across the fields. Well, I think the castle is about uh, three quarters of a mile, just the other side of these uh, trees. Uh, slow down, Otis. Slow down. Hang on, I gotta get the gate. <laughs> okay, on we go. And you go. Good boy, you wait there. Oh my days. There's stingy nettles everywhere along here, especially when you've got bare legs. Not good, is it? <laughs> right, which one of these I noticed? That way or that way? This way, I guess. Good boy. I'm looking out for a uh, nature reserve, or rather the National Trust sign. Wow, here we go. And here's Clyde the Castle, or should I say a folly? So it's considered as one of the most outstanding 18th century follies in Wales. The castle was designed by John Davenport and built by William Jones of Clyther House with the purpose of relieving a mind afflicted with the loss of a most excellent wife. And it's now owned by the National Trust who lease it to a Landmark Trust who rent it out for holidays. And also looked after by the National Trust in the distance there, you can see the Sugarloaf. So that's going to be one place we're going to head off to. Have a little wander. Okay, Otis, this way. So 
next port of call is going to be the Clyther Arms. If you get a drink of water, Otis. Oh, I guess you're not going to cross there. Ah, the kissing gate's this side. Not really a kissing gate, it's a, a boulder lift gate. Here we go, Otis. Whoa, thank golly for that. It's called a boulder lift gate. This boulder keeps it in place. So instead of following the footpath, we follow the road. There's Clyther Hill behind us. And just over the road here, we've got Clyther House. I don't think we can get in. We'll just take a, a quick look. So here we are, Clyther House. And you can have a view around by written appointment with the secretary. Okay. And here we have the lodge, which was built around about 1840. And in the background there you can see the Clyther Arms pub. And we're going to follow the footpath this way. Uh, I think Otis is going to get a drink by here as well. Okay, so we could have walked along that way. <laughs> okay, go on. Go take a drink, Otis. And just up here we have the uh, entrance to Clyther Park. It's all privately owned these days though. But there we go, quite an ornate entrance, isn't it? Fortunately this gate opens. Come here, Otis. Go through and wait, wait. There we go, good boy. Oh. We got cattle and sheep in this one. Hopefully, they're uh, not inquisitive. So, we're actually walking through Chapel Farm and we're looking out for, uh, for Capel Eden, which is a 12th century chapel that. Uh, uh, got destroyed in the 13th century and all that's left are uh, some rubble. Well, I think it must be this way, Otis. Oh, we've been missing those signs. Don't see any more yellow ones. There's a blue one. And a big arrow one. It must be this way, Otis. We're still looking out for this old chapel. Still no sign of this chapel, but hey ho, some lovely horses. And we've certainly taken a roundabout route because we were just over there at Clyther Park. Okay. Come on, little fella. Uh, wait there, Otis. Wait there, boy. Just want to have a little... Just zooming there on Cly the Castle, or should I call it Cly the Folly? It's a good couple of miles away now, Otis. We've walked some miles today, young man. Come on, let's carry on. I think we got about a mile left to go. Another quarter of a mile and we should be alongside the River Esk once again. Wait, Otis. So 
So all of this is owned by Clyther Park. And in the background there, you could just about make out the Clyther Park State House. Wait there, Otis. Wait there. Well, oh, this walk is certainly full of gates. <laughs> it's a good boy. Wait. Okay, now slowly, because you've got main road here, Otis. Okay, across. It's a good boy. Oh, this one's a bit broken, is it? Let's have a look. There we go. Wait there. There we go. And finally... We're coming down to the river again, Otis. Wow! Slowly. Wait there, oh, that one locks itself. It's got another weight. Fantastic. And there's a guy there fishing. A bit of fly fishing. Well, we're on the final leg of our journey. Then we'll walk around the estate of Clyther. If you've enjoyed it, please click the like button and don't forget, please subscribe if you haven't already. And what we'd love most of all is to hear from you, so please leave some comments. Wait there, Otis. Go and have your, your drink. So it's like a sign off. Thank you very much for joining us. Don't forget, please click on the like button and subscribe. And don't forget, leave some comments. So till next time, it's a cheerio from me and a cheerio from Otis. Bye. Mm -hmm.